Ms Adams. Thank you very much, Presiding Officer. I'd like to, to start with a quote. I was a bit worried earlier on. Uh, I had a lot of my speech um, Alex Cole Hamilton had used uh, in his speech, but um, it's a quote from Nicola Sturgeon um, round about the start of the COVID crisis. I understand because I'm First Minister leading a government how difficult and unprecedented this situation is. We are all trying to make the best decisions. We can undoubtedly get things, we will undoubtedly get things wrong along the way, as every government across the world will be. And I've been very clear about that from the outset. I'll make mistakes. Everybody involved in leading the responses will make mistakes. But it's really important that we take the best decisions we can at every single stage and to learn from that as we go. I remember that time so vividly because it's such a profound effect on me, on my constituents, on my family, on my friends and my relatives who died at that time in difficult circumstances. And that's what we should be talking about today. It's about the people and the effect that COVID had on them. Now, I, I remember sitting in a room upstairs with many of the people that are in this chamber today with briefings from Jason Leach, from the Chief Medical Officer, who were open and transparent, willing to answer any of the questions in the rooms that we had about the policies that the Scottish Government were taking to try and keep people safe. Now, I don't remember anyone at that time making comments that they distrusted the medical officer, the chief medical officer, Jason Leach, that they were not all thinking that we were in this together. And I remember that there were never any suggestions that there was going to be a policy to get herd immunity and that the bodies could pile high at that time. Everybody was concentrating on what the inquiry is about and what today should have been about in this parliament. People getting the answers that they deserve, that are needed, and that the learning from this experience can be taken forward because we don't know when there might be another crisis like this and there might be another pandemic. Now, the tone of this debate has been completely wrong, completely wrong. There's a pantomime villain being thought, thought, sought from across the opposition benches. But what is in truth is this is just everybody having to adapt around COVID to work differently, to communicate differently and to try and do the best that they could. So my, group, my team introduced um, WhatsApp. We introduced Slack at that time. We were trying to do the very best to ensure that we still were able to provide a a service to our constituents in the most difficult, difficult of circumstances. The Scottish Government is complying with the inquiry. It has already provided 19,000 documents in addition to 14,000 WhatsApp messages in line with their own policy on how decision making should have been recorded at that time. And I think, reflect, I can't believe we're hearing this. I remember when there was a crisis at that time when Catherine Calderwood had a, a, a mistake that was unforgivable and she lost her job over it. And at the same time, what we were seeing at Westminster was Dominic Cummings going on family trips to Barnard Castle and treating people with absolute contempt. And I know that the WhatsApp messages that have come out in the COVID inquiry from what the atmosphere was at Downing Street will be really hard for the Conservative benches and really, really not edifying in any way whatsoever to see the contempt in which some of the civil servants were treating the politicians, the contempt in which some of the, the, uh, the decisions were being made and the attitude that people, the individual people affected by this were not being given the prominence that they deserved. So there's been a lot said today about the context and the nature in which these decisions were being made. And I know there are people that won't agree with me, but I believe that the context of the decisions that were made in Scotland with the team of medical experts that we had, with the First Minister at that time, and the transparency she showed every single day, standing up to scrutiny of the press in marked contract to Boris Johnson at the time, that those decisions were made in the very best interests of 
of the people of Scotland. But that's not for us to judge. It's not for the people in this bench. It's not for the people in those benches to judge. It's for the people of Scotland to look at what happened and to take their own decisions about who they trust, who they did trust at that time, where they were looking to get their information from. And it wasn't the briefings from Downing Street. That's absolutely true. Presiding officer, I don't think this has helped the families at all affected by this, and I regret that that's had to happen here this afternoon. This has been a, pa a pa pantomime. It's been a look for a pantomime villain that doesn't exist. It's been unplausible. It's been political point scoring from the party that partied all the way through COVID. Thank you, presiding officer. Thank you, Ms. Adamson. Uh,